In this video, we're going to introduce you to the LCP and XPS controller families. The LCP and XPS controller families is a family of panels for dimming and switching applications. This is an example panel we'll be dealing with in this series of videos. However, your exact panel may vary slightly in size or shape. It may be larger or may have different configurations. The major components of the LCP and XPS controller panel are as follows. There's often a load center or circuit breakers here at the bottom. There's an LCD interface, which is often located behind a screw, allowing you to access the features of the system, which we'll be talking about later. Inside the panel, there are a series of modules and load controllers, which wire to the loads in space. And then in the space, there are often a variety of keypads and interfaces. The LCD and XPS controller panel cover can be removed by loosening the screws at the different locations on the panel itself. The cover should only be removed by a licensed electrician as it contains line voltage inside. We're going to remove the cover here to show you what the inside looks like. Again, the contents of your particular panel may vary from this demonstration model here. Inside the panel has switching modules, dimming modules, 0 10 volt interfaces, and or a load center with circuit breakers. Again, with the LCP controller and the link wiring at the top of that controller, which goes out to keypads in the space. So under normal operation, the LCP display should show information about the software that's inside. And if it does not show up, you can press a single button on the screen to wake up the display. Under normal operation, these two LEDs at the top, you should see flickering slightly. And on the bottom of the LCD controller, you should see one LED on solid indicating the controller itself has power. Individual devices may or may not have individual LEDs that show up on them. So the main indication that things are working properly is by looking at the lights on the LCD controller itself. The entire system is also tied together with a low voltage cable, which connects from the panel's LCD controller to keypads and interfaces through the space. This is a multi-conductor cable that uses four wires, two for power and two for signal. Each end of the cable at the beginning, often at the LCP panel itself, and the end has on it a link terminator. The keypads in the space are individually addressed with dip switches on them. These dip switches should not be adjusted unless under the support of a tech support representative from Lutron. The LCP and XPS systems we just talked about are just one of several commercial systems offered by Lutron. Additional information on the LCP and XPS systems can be found at the links on screen. Lutron offers several other lighting control systems for new and existing installations. Athena is a dynamic lighting control system that brings the magic of light to elevate everyday moments. It is a flexible, simple, all-in-one solution that combines the world's most advanced light source, Ketra, with intelligent shades and connected apps to deliver a holistic light experience. Quantum is Lutron's high-end commercial system, offering the ultimate in lighting and shading flexibility for today's high-performance buildings. Its wide variety of controls and web-based interface provide occupants and facility managers the tools they need to optimize the functionality of any space. Vive is Lutron's simple, scalable wireless solution for new and retrofit applications, making it easy to meet energy code while maintaining flexibility for the changing demands of today's modern buildings. Contact your local Lutron representative for more information on these and other Lutron solutions. Go to lutron.com slash where to buy for more information.